Hey everyone, welcome back to Globry Digital Innovation, where we dive into the coolest digital tools and the latest in AI technology. If you're tired of staring at endless blocks of text and wish someone could just read it to you, you're in luck. Today, we're diving into Speechify, the app that turns any text into audio in seconds. Whether you're trying to breeze through study material, emails, or even a novel, Speechify promises to save you time. But does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. First off, what is Speechify? It's an AI-powered text-to-speech tool that can read anything from articles and PDFs to emails and even books. You can adjust the speed, choose different voices, and it's available on both desktop and mobile devices. Basically, it's designed to help you absorb information while you're on the go, whether you're driving, working out, or just want to give your eyes a break. So, how does it actually work? You start by uploading your text, whether it's a document, an email, or an online article. Speechify can handle it all. You can also use the browser extension to grab text from any web page. Once you've got your text, you can customize the voice that reads it to you and even adjust the speed. Let's break down the pros and cons. On the upside, Speechify is extremely easy to use, the voice options are high quality, and it supports multiple platforms, desktop, mobile, you name it. Plus, if you're using the premium version, the voices sound surprisingly natural, making it pleasant to listen to for long periods. But no app is perfect. Speechify's free version is pretty limited. The good voices and higher reading speeds are locked behind a paywall, and the premium subscription can be a bit pricey for casual users. If you're using it daily, though, it's probably worth the upgrade. So, is Speechify worth the price? The free version gives you basic functionality, which might be enough if you're just dipping your toes in. But if you want the full experience, faster reading speeds, premium voices, and the ability to handle larger files, then the premium version is where you'll get the most value. It's a bit on the expensive side for casual users, but if you're using it daily to power through reading materials, it could be well worth the investment. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Keep creating, keep editing, and we'll see you in the next video.